Well, work continuing today on a giant mural on the side of the Grand Rapids Children's Museum. That mural will be entered into the Art Prize competition next month. And the guys behind the project, Tracy and Corey Van Dynen, in studio with us this morning. I want to thank you, gentlemen, brothers here, thank you. for joining us today. How exciting is this? You know, how does it feel to be awarded the Art Prize ability to have your mural or mosaic tile on the side of such a venue as the Children's Museum? It's very exciting. Um, the type of uh, uh, community art that I do down in Chicago fits really perfectly with the uh, Children's Museum and their mission of, of play mm -hmm. and exploration. Yeah, we, we, when I, when I uh, talked to them at first, I was really excited when they were allowing us to do this. And uh, we, we went ahead and, um, you know, when I was, Tracy and I have been wanting to do a project for a long mm -hmm. time, so when we were able to get it, uh, you know, on the Children's Museum for the Art Prize Contest, which is a wonderful contest for this entire uh, town, I think is going to be a great, mm -hmm. great thing. And you live here in sh in Grand Rapids. Yep. You live in Chicago, but you went to Kendall. You're from, you're native of Grand Rapids yes. area. Mm -hmm. So yeah. both of you yeah. brothers colliding, co coming together on mm -hmm. this particular project. Give us a feel for this piece of art. Kind of what does it represent? And the fact that the community is involved. They get a chance actually to participate and have been mm -hmm. doing so, and they get to do so again, um, participating in those tiles. Yeah, it's, it's called Imagine That, and it's about, um, again, this idea of exploration and play and creativity. And it's um, going to be the uh, three main figures are of children kind of looking up, and they're going to be um, what's going to happen around the whole building are there going to be these circular images that talk about kind of children's imagination and creativity. Mm -hmm. And so, again, it really plays in well with what happens at the Children's Museum. So, a lot of fun, and a lot because that's what the museum is all about. Mm -hmm. um, you've already done some mosaics in Chicago, one in particular under Lakeshore Drive there. Tell us a bit about that and how what that. Is about. Yeah, my, myself and my creative partner in Chicago, who's actually help up here working with us here, Todd Osborne, we've done um, <coughs> three made three very large uh, mosaic murals under the underpasses up in the Edgewater community in Chicago. Uh, the latest one was with, uh, in conjunction with the American Indian community, um, talking about their culture. But they're very large scale mosaics that the whole community comes out and helps us put up on the wall. We've had um, just great participation and mm -hmm. the community really takes ownership of these. Speaking of the community, today once again, Corey, tell us about what they are have the opportunity to do now, between now and Saturday, I believe, correct? Yes. They'll, um, uh, people can have the opportunity to come down and visit us, talk to us, and also put a, start putting a handful of the uh, tile on the wall and actually making it their own. We did have the children actually at the Children's Museum and a couple of workshops go ahead and paint the tiles and so they can go and find their own tile now on the on the wall as the uh, as it stays up for the next duration of how long. That's pretty exciting, and yeah. our prize on its way in five weeks or so. Yeah. Competition yeah. begins. Let yeah. the games yeah. begin, right? All right. All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for so, joining us this morning. Enough. We appreciate yeah. it. Thank you.